This chapter will talk about the second largest of the world's seven continents. Perceptions of Africa are often misleading, due to the influence, sometimes negative, of the media, and the use of the Mercator projection in world maps, giving the impression that the continent is the same size as Greenland, whereas in fact it is 14 times larger, and second only to Asia in land area and population. Africa the home to the world's largest desert, Sahara Desert, and the longest river, Nile River. Most of the African countries has been ruled by the Europeans like the British, French, and Portuguese. There are about 54 countries in this continent. It is divided into the following regions, North Africa, East Africa, West Africa, Central Africa, and Southern Africa. The countries under each region will be named together with some of its national information like capital, languages, religions and currency. Interesting places to visit will be provided in some of the major tourist destinations. At the end of this chapter, the students will be able to 1. Name all the countries that belong to the various regions of the continent. 2. Demonstrate a mastery on identifying the location of each African country on the map. 3. Describe the touristic features of the regions in Africa, and 4. Identify the important facts about the countries in each region. Africa, the second largest continent, is bounded by the Mediterranean Sea, the Red Sea, the Indian Ocean, and the Atlantic Ocean. It is divided in half almost equally by the equator. Africa has 54 countries with Algeria as the largest. The smallest country is Seychelles. Some languages spoken in the continent are, Arabic, French, English, Portuguese, Swahili, Berber, and other African indigenous languages. The highest peak is Mount Kilimanjaro and the longest river in the continent is Nile River. The origin of the name Africa is greatly disputed by scholars. Most believe it stems from words used by the Phoenicians, Greeks, and Romans. Important words include the Egyptian word Afruike, meaning motherland, the Greek word Afrike, meaning without cold, and the Latin word Africa, meaning sunny. Africa is sometimes nicknamed the mother continent due to its being the oldest inhabited continent on Earth. Humans and human ancestors have lived in Africa for more than 5 million years. Africa has eight major physical regions, the Sahara, the Sahel, the Ethiopian highlands, the savanna, the Swahili coast, the rainforest, the African Great Lakes, and southern Africa. Some of these regions cover large bands of the continent, such as the Sahara and Sahel, while others are isolated areas, such as the Ethiopian highlands and the Great Lakes. Each of these regions has unique animal and plant communities. The Sahara is the world's largest hot desert, covering 8.5 million square kilometers about the size of the South American country of Brazil. Defining Africa's northern bulge, the Sahara makes up 25% of the continent. The Sahara has a number of distinct physical features, including ergs, regs, hamadas, and oases. Regs are plains of sand and gravel that make up 70% of the Sahara. The gravel can be black, red, or white. Regs are the remains of prehistoric seabeds and riverbeds, but are now nearly waterless. Hamadas are elevated plateaus of rock and stone. They include the Atlas Mountains, which stretch from southwestern Morocco to northeastern Tunisia, the Tibesti Mountains of southern Libya and northern Chad and the Air Mountains in southern Algeria. An oasis is a hub of water in the desert, often in the form of springs, wells, or irrigation systems. About 75% of the Sahara's population lives in oases. Ergs, which cover 20% of the Sahara, are sand dunes. Ergs cover most of Algeria and Libya and parts of Mali and Nigeria. Ergs can contain large quantities of salt, which is sold for industrial and food use. The Sahara's animal and plant communities have adapted to the region's extremely dry conditions. Saharan plants survive thanks to root systems that plunge as far as 24 meters, 80 feet, underground. In parts of the Sahara, plants cannot take root at all. In the southern Libyan desert, for instance, 
no greenery exists for more than 195 kilometers, 120 miles, savanna or grasslands, cover almost half of Africa, more than 13 million square kilometers, 5 million square miles. These grasslands make up most of Central Africa, beginning south of the Sahara and the Sahel and ending north of the continent's southern tip. Among Africa's many savanna regions, the Serengeti, or Serengeti Plains, is the most well-known. The Serengeti is home to one of the continent's highest concentrations of large mammal species, including lions, hyenas, zebras, giraffes, and elephants. Swahili coast stretches about 1,610 kilometers, 1,000 miles, along the Indian Ocean, from Somalia to Mozambique. The nearby coral reefs and barrier islands protect the coast from severe weather. There is not a lot of animal life on the sandy Swahili coast. The golden rumped elephant shrew, an insect eating rodent with a long snout, is common. A small, primitive species of primate known as the bush baby inhabits vegetated areas of the Swahili coast. Bush babies, which have enormous eyes for hunting at night, feed primarily on insects, fruit, and leaves, rainforest. Most of Africa's native rainforest has been destroyed by development, agriculture, and forestry. Today, 80% of Africa's rainforest is concentrated in Central Africa, along the Congo River Basin. Africa's rainforests have a rich variety of animal life, a 6-kilometer, 4-mile, patch could contain up to 400 bird species, 150 butterfly species, and 60 species of amphibians. Important mammals include African forest elephants, gorillas, the black colobus monkey, and the okapi, a donkey-like giraffe. African Great Lakes are located in nine countries that surround the Great Rift Valley. As the African continent separated from Saudi Arabia, large, deep cracks were created in the Earth's surface. These cracks were later filled with water. This geologic process created some of the largest and deepest lakes in the world. There are seven major African Great Lakes, Lake Albert, Lake Edward, Lake Kivu, Lake Malawi, Lake Tanganyika, Lake Turkana, and Lake Victoria. Lake Victoria, the largest lake in Africa, is the southern source of the Nile River, the longest river in the world. The region of southern Africa is dominated by the Capvale Craton, a shelf of bedrock that is more than 2.6 billion years old. Rocky features of southern Africa include plateaus and mountains, such as the Drakensberg Range. Southern Africa is the epicenter of Africa's well-known reserves which protect animal species such as lions, elephants, baboons, white rhinos, and Burchell's zebras, the African historic cultures. The African continent has a unique place in human history. Widely believed to be the cradle of humankind, Africa is the only continent with fossil evidence of human beings, Homo sapiens, and their ancestors through each key stage of their evolution. These include the Australopithecines, our earliest ancestors, Homo habilis, our tool-making ancestors, and Homo erectus, a more robust and advanced relative to Homo habilis that was able to walk upright. Human movement, or migration, plays a key role in the cultural landscape of Africa. Geographers are especially interested in migration as it relates to the way goods, services, social and cultural practices, and knowledge are spread throughout the world. Two other migration patterns, the Bantu migration and the African slave trade, help define the cultural geography of the continent. The Bantu migration was a massive migration of people across Africa about 2,000 years ago. The Bantu migration is the most important human migration to have occurred since the first human ancestors left Africa more than a million years ago. The Bantu migration had an enormous impact on Africa's economic cultural, and political practices. Bantu migrants introduced many new skills into the communities they interacted with, including sophisticated farming and industry. These skills included growing crops and forging tools and weapons from metal. The third massive human migration in Africa was the African slave trade. Between the 15th and 19th centuries, 
more than 15 million Africans were transported across the Atlantic Ocean to be sold as slaves in North and South America. Millions of slaves were also transported within the continent, usually from Central Africa and Madagascar to North Africa and the European colony of South Africa. Millions of Africans died in the slave trade. Most slaves were taken from the isolated interior of the continent. They were sold in the urban areas on the West African coast. Thousands died in the brutal process of their capture, and thousands more died on the forced migration to trading centers. Even more lost their lives on the treacherous voyage across the Atlantic Ocean. The impacts of slavery on Africa are widespread and diverse. Computerized calculations have projected that if there had been no slave trade, the population of Africa would have been 50 million instead of 25 million in 1850. Evidence also suggests that the slave trade contributed to the long-term colonization and exploitation of Africa. Communities and infrastructure were so damaged by the slave trade that they could not be rebuilt and strengthened before the arrival of European colonizers in the 19th century. North Africa consists of countries situated in northernmost portion the African continent. The countries in this region are Egypt, Libya, Tunisia, Algeria, Sudan, Morocco, and Western Sahara. People of the north are mainly Islam believers, and they speak Arabic. Also, North Africa is inhabited by Berber people who speak Berber language, Miaski, 2017. Arabic and Berber languages are two of the principal languages in the region. East Africa East Africa is composed of the countries Burundi, Comoros, Djibouti, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Kenya, Madagascar, Malawi, Mauritius, Rwanda, Seychelles, Somalia, Somaliland, Tanzania, and Uganda. It includes Somaliland, Republic of Somaliland, a self-declared nation, and Reunion, a French overseas department. West Africa West Africa, is a sub-region consisting of the following countries, Benin, Burkina Faso, Cape Verde, Côte d'Ivoire, Gambia, Ghana, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, Liberia, Mali, Mauritania, Niger, Nigeria, Senegal, Sierra Leone, Togo, and St. Helena, a British overseas territory. Southern Africa Southern Africa, is the region of Africa that includes the countries of Angola, Botswana, Lesotho, Mozambique, Namibia, South Africa, Swaziland, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. Central Africa Central Africa, defined by the UN subregion, consists of the following countries, Cameroon, Central African Republic, Chad, Congo Republic, Brazzaville, Democratic Republic of Congo, Equatorial Guinea, Gabon, and Sao Tome and Principe. Here are the different countries of Africa with its flags, country, capital and languages. An island nation on an archipelago of volcanic origin in the Atlantic Ocean off the northwestern coast of Africa. Largest city and the capital is Praia, located on San Diego Island, Cape Verde. South Africa has 11 official languages and a multilingual population fluent in at least two. Isizulu and Isikosa are the largest languages, while English is spoken at home by only 1 in 10 people, most of them not white. Hello, general greeting, is Sa Abona or Sinibonani. The national flag of Cape Verde features five unequal horizontal bands. The topmost band of blue is equal to one half of the width of the flag and is followed by three bands of white, red, and white each equal to one twelfth of the width, and a bottom stripe of blue equal to one quarter of the flag width. The blue color symbolizes the oceans and the sky. The circle of ten stars represents the ten major islands of the country that is united into a nation. 
The red and white bands symbolize the road to the formation of the country and economic progress through peace, white, and effort, red. Although the precise number is unknown, there are several thousand different societies or ethnic groups in Africa. They are identified by their recognition of a common culture, language, religion, and history. But in some areas the boundaries among ethnic groups and communities, villages, towns, farm areas, may not always be clear to the outsider. Most Africans speak more than one language, and frequent migrations and interactions including intermarriage, with other peoples have often blurred ethnic distinctions.